from Austin, Texas. Man, I tour with a punk rock magic show. A third of my show is 100% real. I really do eat fire. I really do hammer a nail in my nose. But at some point, the show secretly transitions. It's not until halfway through cutting off my tongue that people realize, wait a minute, it's a magic show. I remember being in second grade when I saw Penn & Teller's first magic show. I had never seen magic be cool before, and it blew me away. I can honestly say that if there was no Penn & Teller, there would be no Brian Brushwood. This is my chance to honor the people who made me the magician I am today. Let's meet him. Will you please welcome Brian Brushwood. audience who's willing to do absolutely anything, who's my guy? <laughs> wait, 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 you're screaming, what's your name? Sean. Sean, get on up here. Let's make some noise for Sean as he comes up here. Let me get you over on this side. Here's the thing. I need somebody willing to do absolutely anything because we are going to do a vanish and commit a crime. Like all good crimes, it involves money. You got $3,001 bills to pick from. Reach in there, pick any stack you want. You happy with that one? You want to change your mind? Last chance. Okay, good. Do me a favor. I want you to riffle through the front of that stack. Make sure all the serial numbers are different. Everything look good? Yeah. Perfect. Hold it in your hand with the backs on top. I want you to pull off the top bill, just like so. And hold on to that one. That one's yours. The rest I want you to give to these gentlemen, which my lawyer promised me is not technically a bribe. Just toss that on over there. <laughs> Thank you. Every vanish involves four fundamental aspects. So we're going to start by having you print your name nice and neat over the back of that bill, right over the O-N-E on there. Neatness counts. Make sure it's nice and small. Every vanish has four fundamental characteristics. You have to have an object selected, identified, lost, and then found. We've selected a single dollar bill. We are identifying it with your name printed on it. Now we're going to go a step farther with the serial number. I want this half of the audience to remember the first half. Read the first half of the serial number nice and loud to these guys. G0310. Say it back. G0310. Remember that. Second half for these guys. 9213E. 9213E. Perfect. Sean, I want you to fold that uh, with the serial numbers on the inside. Fold it in half, and then I want you to fold it in half a second time. And then finally fold it in half one more time so you have a nice little square one-eighth of a bill looking at you. Everything look good? And square one-eighth of a bill. Perfect. Boom. <laughs> Two aspects done. Have an object selected and identified. This is where stuff gets interesting. We are going to vanish your bill. Now, here's the thing. If you believe in magic, what you are witnessing is an astonishing vanish in which your bill is vanishing into a magical puff of plasma. If you don't believe in magic, you're witnessing a violation of Title 18, Section 333, punishable by up to $100 fine and six months in prison. Perfect. Now, it's still there though, right? We got the ashes, so I'm gonna chop this up like I'm a messed out Rachel Ray. There we go. I'm gonna move these right inside there. Everything's looking good to me. Now we get to the most important part. Sean. Do you prefer applesauce or chocolate pudding? Chocolate pudding. Dude, man of my own heart. Here we go. We're going to grab this. We'll just get to the... Oh, that's lovely. There we go. I'm going to mix this up here. And uh, Some people think I'm doing like a magic ashes switcheroo, to which I say, that's dumb. Uh, okay, do, uh, do me a favor. Just taste that. Taste it. Tastes fine, right? Nothing weird? Yeah. Do me a favor. Polish that off. Something amazing is going to happen. The faster you eat that, the louder they cheer. Watch. <laughs> Identified, and I would say very thoroughly lost. I think we could agree, Sean, that at this point it would be extraordinarily difficult for me to retrieve your dollar bill. Yep, <laughs> definitely. I want you to walk around. <laughs> I want you to rock around to the front of this gurney, plant your butt right here. You're going to put your head down at this end, your feet down at the other end, which sort of happens by default. There we go. And I want you to take a deep breath and pull your shirt all the way up to your chest. All right. Hello, ladies. Right on. <laughs> relax, relax, relax. You're flexing. And in fact, I want you to rest your arms right there on top. Perfect. And I apologize. This, uh, I gotta wash you down. This water's a little bit cold. Here's... 
That is cool. <laughs> All right, uh, this part will feel a little bit weird. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get inside. There we go. That can't be good. Grab a little bit of. That's weird. Wait, why would you? Oh no! Wait, 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 Sean. If, if you look inside the uh, 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 balloon, there's something in there. Do me a favor. I want you to, I want you to pinch that right there. I'm gonna try to cut this out. Actually, I'll just it. Uh, 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 there we go. <laughs> that's that's yours to keep. Uh, Sean, first of all, do you guys remember the first half of the serial number? G zero three one zero. What's the second half? Sean, can you verify? Is that your name printed in the middle of the bill? That's my name. Let's hear it for Sean. He absolutely slept it. Fantastic job there, buddy. I'm almost certain that'll watch out. Sean, everyone. Sean, everybody. What a score. Nice work. Thank you. Well, that was incredible. I, where did you study medicine? Because uh, that was yeah, quite something. The, the Philippines, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know how you did this, but I think I now know how Penn lost all that weight. That's right. right. <laughs> so the guys are deliberating now. Uh, Penn and Teller are talking about what they've just seen and whether they know how it's done. How confident do you feel about falling in Ah, uh, On a scale of one to ten? Yeah. Uh, negative five. <laughs> I just want to make them smile. They're smiling right now. Well, that's the worst smile I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Looking over at Penn and Teller, I can see they've come to the end of their deliberation, so I'm going to phone out to Penn and find out how well you did. Penn, what do you have to say? We are huge fans before you even came out here, and the bribe did not hurt. Uh, we did psychic surgery, which is what you were doing there, on Conan O'Brien's show, and Teller did the moves to reach in and pull the stuff out of Conan's stomach, and uh, I think you did it better. <laughs> We do know, uh, we do know how that's done. We also, uh, we have a pretty good idea of the serial number. We don't want to give away too much there. Sure. But you used a technique at the very end to have him verify the bill. Sure. That is one of my favorite techniques in magic. Could you have made it work with uh, your name as well? Or was it just Sean's name? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, some people want to see the bill after, after, after I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy? You're convinced they know what they talk about. They know what you know that oh, we they, don't necessarily know. They know that know, I know that they know that we all know. That's, well, as long as you know that, then I know that you're happy <laughs> to know that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it was a great act, wasn't it? Yeah. Mr. Brian Westbrook. Nice job, Brian.